A couple quick disclaimers. If I'm referring to something in this video as easy and you don't think it's easy and you're a beginner, don't listen to me. Don't even give it a second of thought. You're doing great at the pace you're going. I believe in you. And on the other hand, if you're watching this video and you're going, oh my gosh, she sucks at guitar. Everything she's doing is easy. It's okay to laugh. I will laugh with you. Also, I have an Instagram. Here it is. You can DM me if you want. We can talk. We can be friends. And that's all I got for you. I hope you guys enjoy the video. It was a lot of fun to make. Guys, don't try to talk to me right now. I have to practice. Like, you don't understand. Like, I don't have time for small talk. I really have to practice right now. Because I really have to practice. I'm a serious musician and we can't be talking about other things right now. There are more important things to do for my career. Just kidding. Hey friends, how are you doing today? Some people that came from my guitar video that blew up I have been asking for a practice video or like a guitar progress video. I haven't been taking videos of my progress and honestly, I don't know if I've made enough progress for a guitar progress video. So we're just going to practice together today. I thought this could be a chill thing. You could watch me practice then you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I should go practice like her because she's having so much fun when she's practicing and she's also learning a lot. And so I should probably do that because I also want to get on with guitar good. Before I start quick equipment, Hall. I'm using my Fender Mustang V2 amp hooked up to my Vox Stomp Lab 2G and that's all into my Fender Player Strat, my favorite guitar. No, I don't speak about favorites because you can't choose between your children. Okay, on the agenda today, probably tune first because I know some people. Can you switch my laundry over before? So normally I would start off with my scales, but they're boring and also my guitar teacher told me to not waste all my brain power on scales. Maybe not all the time because usually I do them at the beginning of my practice and then I don't really have any technique left for the rest of it. I actually really want to go over the chord progressions. I actually like doing chord progressions and I like learning the bar chords and I like learning what chords I can use for when I'm writing a song. My go-to recently has been... But I'm just trying to get out of that habit. I don't want all my songs to sound the same. I'm just going to go down my chord progressions really quick. F minor guitar chord. B flat minor guitar chord. song that I posted on YouTube. Oh, I should be using my pick. For some reason, I'm so much more comfortable without using my pick. I don't know why. I like making up songs and then singing it with it. Okay, so I was supposed to do the one, six, five, seven, over five, five progression. I don't know, honestly. G major, G. A Modern Method for Guitar, Volume 1. And I'm doing the Here We Go duet. I don't, do I get copyrighted for this stuff on YouTube? We're gonna see today. So I'm gonna pull up my metronome and I think I'm gonna do it at like 70. Where in the world is my metronome? I go through this every single day. I can't find it. <laughs> It's like 
like it's this. Is it the F, right? Okay, it's F. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Watch me fail at the minor pentatonic scale. The easiest one. I don't know how many there are, but I've learned how to do the minor pentatonic scale pattern and then the major scale pattern. So that's pretty much two patterns because you go, or four, because it's two each because one starts on the sixth string and one starts on the fifth string. I keep forgetting where the pattern goes, so like I know it starts on the eighth fret and then it goes. So I've got this thing that tells you what notes are on your fretboard, and I've stepped on it multiple times, that's why it's dirty. And this is just gonna tell me where to put my fingers for the patterns. And then I've got this, which is going to tell me how bad I am at these things. <laughs> to be focusing on the alternate picking for now. I do the same thing every single time. I just can't do it. That was pretty much it. I mixed them. Ow! Scratched my face off. Now I get why he doesn't want to waste my brain power on the scales because it's honestly kind of frustrating. It's because it's easy. Technically, it's easy because you do the same thing over and over again. But why is it not easy? Because you do the same thing over and over again and then you get mad and bored and then you mess up and then you have to keep going and to perfect it. Hopefully at some point in time, I hope soon, at least I can do these things with my eyes closed and get through them like that. But I still have a whole other scale pattern to go through. <laughs> Okay, the camera shut off for some strange reason. I'm suing you, Canon. Just kidding, I love you. So yeah, pretty much my main thing is my hands cramp up when I do the bar chords right now and then minuscule issues with scales. I wanna get into the finger style. I generally like the sound of the acoustic guitar better. Doesn't mean I hate the electric guitars because I have one on my lap. I got copyrighted for covering a James Taylor song because I was trying to do his finger style. I was trying to do the finger style of fire and rain and then I got copyrighted for it just because I did it that good. But no, it wasn't even that. As a songwriter, it's hard for me to just sit down and read music sometimes because I like to make up the music. It's hard to stay motivated with it a lot. At the same time, the motivation does come from the progress. So basically all I've learned for now is just basic chord progressions. Actually not basic chord progressions. I've been working on some major chord progressions and major and minor pentatonic scales and then just pretty much basic note reading in my practice book and also my teacher has been sort of teaching me about borrowed chords, secondary dominance. So I am pretty happy with the progress I've made especially because I was pretty much in a rut before I started taking lessons. Some people have messaged me and asked me what I what they should do first in guitar. I'm like, don't ask me, I don't know. So I hope this was in some way interesting. I don't know how interesting this is. I'm 
fun. You're literally just watching me practice. Hopefully you found some fun in it. I know some people have been asking for this, so I appreciate that people care. So thank you for that. If you want to message me on Instagram, I'm there. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a good day. Happy day in the US when I'm filming this inauguration day. Also to the people who are scared that my parents bought me a nice guitar and they're worried I'm not even going to learn how to play it. This video is also for you. Don't worry, I know how you feel. I genuinely do. I'm taking care of her. I love her a lot, okay? Kisses. Okay, I'll see you <laughs> See you later. I was gonna say I'll see you next week, but honestly, my uploading has been sucking recently, so who knows, and I'll see you again.